On my left is Ashley Banfield from News Nation, and she is going to talk to Michelle, interview her about possibly recent encounter with UFO while she was flying over New York City. Here it is. Next story, and you're going to think of the guest who is going to talk about this next story. Michelle Reyes was flying over New York City with her daughter, and she was sitting by a window. Um, when she did what a lot of us do, we, you know, take pictures out the window, nice video of the New York skyline. It's an amazing view. But what Michelle did not expect to see was a cylinder-shaped object zipping across her line of sight near LaGuardia Airport. Was it a bug inside the plane, maybe? Well, she played the video back to look and note. To me, that doesn't look like a bug because it definitely looks something bigger than the bug, although it's far a little bit, but I think she probably would have had zoomed in because the video is not like 4K, but at the same time, it's a good picture. We can see it, so. It was not a bug. Whatever it was, it was definitely outside the plane and it was flying on its own and it was really, really fast. Michelle Reyes joins me now exclusively and I want to welcome back Ben Hansen from UFO Witness on Discovery Plus as well. Michelle, thank you so much for being here. First of all, wow, uh, that was pretty alarming stuff. What did you do with the video and, and, and did you reach out to authorities to, to share it with them? Um, thank you for having me. And when I realized that I had something like this on the video, the first thing I did was I emailed the FAA to let them know what I saw and maybe it was a safety hazard. Um, I reached out to them. Unfortunately, I haven't heard back from them. They didn't acknowledge my email. Um, and then I sent it to Enigma Labs and the National UFO Database. All right. So, yeah, so she didn't get a great response from the agency um, and um, because they might probably it's going to take them a little bit uh, times to analyze it and to come to the final conclusion of like what is this exactly or maybe it could be one of the military drone or something that they're testing at it's not possibly it doesn't have to be UFO or it may be because recently I wanted to, even I was talking in the church today about the CERN in uh, Switzerland that when solar eclipse happened, so they wanted to do the test in the CERN. So CERN to test world's more powerful particle accelerator. So CERN is to test world's most powerful a uh, particle accelerator during April solar eclipse to search for invisible matter that secretly powers our universe. Large Hadron Collider will smash atoms. Large Hadron Collider. Large Hadron Collider will smash items together on April 8. The experiment hopes to discover subatomic particles that exist inside items. And uh, this is what they wanted to do. And that could, they wanted to also reinitiate the process of that. So they could like, I feel like with a the missile, they wanted to hit like, because biblically, when you look at the dome, the, you know, the earth has this dome or, uh, around it. And they probably wanted to like intercept it or break that dome so they could open the portal. That I think that's the only way portal could be open. And um, the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerators set smash protons together on April 8 to search for invisible particles secretly powering over universe. Theories have suggested that there are 17 different particle groups and the European Organization for Nuclear Research, better known as CERN, confirmed the existence of one using its Large Hadron Collider in 2012. 
Now the team has started the LHC with hopes of unraveling more mystery of the universe, dark matter. So the, what they are trying to do is to dark, dark matter. I don't know. I'm trying to connect these dots together. If they were able to, you know, on the April 8th, they did that. And if they were able to successfully open the portal, I don't know is no exactly there is if there would have been such a thing, then they would have have reported it. But again, I don't know. Maybe this what we are seeing on the screen right now. Is that the result of it? Or maybe these things were here already. I want to bring back uh, the person who can further explain it. It was that close to the aircraft. Um... So he really didn't have an answer for me. He when we finally were able to there friend right. uh, with Michelle. It's got it. a show called UFO Witness. What do you think about this Tic Tac video, Ben? This was incredible, um, honestly, because it, it took a while just for us to get in touch with Michelle. It wasn't for her posting it on the app. Uh, someone had borrowed, sort of uh, stole it from her social media and posted it as if they were her friend. So we had no idea who she was. We were looking up flights and trying to figure out which flight she was on. When we finally were able to contact her, uh, she, for me, has been uh, completely just genuine, sincere. Uh, we've, we, we've now started to analyze the video. And I, I feel a little awkward saying this with her here, but <laughs> find no evidence that she faked this or hoaxed it. Uh, I didn't from the beginning, but we had to run it through, you know, the, the proper, uh, you know, data analysis. and. It's there. It's um, it's very clear, uh, mm -hmm. which is unusual. Um, so to me, I feel as though this is probably something not terribly far in the distance, but it also there's problems with the theory of it being something as simple as an insect, which I would suspect this was happening, you know, on the ground. We're, we're talking 200 plus miles an hour at this point. Her her jet is, flying. so it passes in about a seventh of a second, and it's it's present in five frames of the video. So there, there's a lot it's also we can a very dive shiny into. Giant, this, but you know, <laughs> shiny giant, really fast insect. It definitely doesn't look like an insect. It certainly looks like the Tic Tacs that we've seen in other naval videos as well. And Michelle, did you say there was there was someone else maybe on that flight who you later were able to, to determine saw this as well? Yeah, I think she mentioned Michelle about uh, our the lady who were flying, and she mentioned the same thing. Hey. We saw it, but we were not sure what was it exactly. Uh, but what my uh, predicament, what I want people to know here, and that's the reason I need to, I had to cut short because that was towards the end of the video. It's a five minute long video. Um, but um, uh, right now people are curious, super, super curious what is happening uh, about with the universe, solar eclipse, uh, CERN, busting open the dome over the earth and trying to tap into the spirit realm or dark matter but at the same time you welcoming or you're saying alien but i think it's a witchcraft uh i think you're entering it into instead of like saying because everything is like always starts with like oh you you found some new things and human discovery or there is powers that out there first of all you're not believing in god and it's it's crazy that scientific people who don't believe in god or say not god is doesn't exist but at the same time they constantly to be curious of this earth and they believe in witchcraft aliens and they believe in all that stuff if these things exist then why doesn't there's a higher power over aliens that exist as well so aliens i want to make a very clear and with people that these are not an alien those are demons those were thrown because bible in bible nobody talk there is nowhere in bible written i can tell you that pick up the bible and tell me where the aliens are mentioned no demons are mentioned in the bible which were thrown from the heaven why because satan wanted to be higher than god and god threw the satan on the ground and Satan is the one that is trying to um, do these things to take the curiosity of people, get the better of themselves. Um, I truly believe it's the work of the devil because in Job, um, when God asked Satan, where have you come from? 
and Satan says that he come from roaming around the earth and um, going back and forth and that's when God asked him have you considered my servant Job and I truly believe this is the work of demons because some uh, in in the time of Noah there were uh, there were some giants who were sleeping with the uh, human daughters and they were producing abnormal human beings I believe that those demons that are producing those could people call it aliens could be those that who are not in sense of uh, they are mixed with human but they are demon they have the DNA of demons that's what I truly believe people call them alien no they are demons and uh, here you go Job chapter 1 verse 8 then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? There is no one on earth. See, on earth. There is no one on earth like him. He is blameless and upright, a man who fears God and shun evil. Does Job fear God for nothing? Satan said, Does God. See, there we go. Does Job fear God for nothing? Satan replied, Have you not put a hedge around him and his household and everything he has? You are blessed the work of his hand, so that his flock and herds are spread throughout the land. But now stretch out your hand and strike everything he has, and he will surely curse you to your face. See, but God says, The Lord said to Satan, Very well, everything he has is in your power, but on the man... Uh, but on the man himself do not lay a finger he said don't lay a finger don't take away his life and um, yeah here what I wanted to present the words to you 7 the Lord said to Satan where have you come from Satan answered the Lord from roaming throughout the earth can you believe that roaming throughout the earth going back and forth on it going back and forth on it God said, Where have you come from? Satan answered, From roaming throughout the earth. Roaming throughout the earth. That's what I want to point to. These UFOs and these stuff that you are seeing in the sky, that must be a partnering with the demonic forces that these signs, if, if UFOs, I, I don't know, I don't know much about UFOs and never took a time to research into that, but I feel like if those are real then those are demons first of all i don't believe in aliens aliens there there is no aliens that exist there are demons that exist and those aliens are demons i i know i'm gonna offend few people but let it be so so it be so those are not alien those are uh, those are demons and demons were thrown down from heaven and they are on earth and from the time, look at it, like from the time of Job, the Satan was on the earth, roaming around. And the Bible also t uh, talks about that Satan is like a roaring lion. He wants to kill, steal, and destroy. He A roaring lion, and he wants to find somebody that he can devour. So this is the work of Satan. So here we go. I'm pulling up a verse for you. Uh, First Peter 5, your enemy devil prowls around like a roaring lion. Can you believe that? Your enemy, the devil, prowls. First of all, keep that in mind. Human race, I wanna I'm talking to you, people. Uh, your enemy, the devil, prowls. The devil is our enemy. Prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him, standing uh, standing firm in the faith, because you know that your brothers throughout the world are undergoing the same kind of suffering. So, very important this, and keep that in mind, that demons can never be friends of human. Devil hates you from the beginning of time, during the time, and now he still hates you. He's never going to be your friend. What I need you to know, pray. And read more Bible. Forget about all the things that they're trying to bring it to you. 
Thank you so much. Make sure you like, share, subscribe this video. You have a